Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time it's an update on my antique um, haul shopping thing I did. I found out a few things. So the um, Avon milk glass uh, dresser, I thought it came with a piece of paper on it to show it was a dresser. Um, when I went looking, sure enough, and so I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of okay with it not having the paper on there because I think it looks way cuter without the paper. If I ever decide I want to update and get the actual one that looks like it's supposed to be a dresser, I will, but I'm okay with that. I also found out that this was not in the right thing in the box. I don't know if somebody accidentally put that in a different box, somebody else did something with it or what, but I'm actually okay with this little lamp thing versus this one. I saw a picture of it. I mean, if I ever want to get this library lamp i will in the future but i'm kind of okay with it not because i think once again this is way cuter um also found out what this is it's a cigarette holder i looked i took a picture of this looked it up and it popped up and it said people said it was listed as a cigarette holder people selling it and it said that that's what they kept seeing it listed as and now that I'm looking at it, I can see that it could hold cigarettes. I thought maybe like makeup brushes, like very thin makeup brushes. And I told Carol about it. I sent her a text and I'm like, you'll never guess what it's used for, cigarettes. And then I told her, I said, no, I'm not, I don't know why it surprises me. Considering they used to hide things like that, you know, in pretty boxes and pretty, you know, on top of pretty things, in pretty things. And that way you could have it displayed without it being so obvious and look all pretty on your, you know, your dresser, your vanity table, your table, wherever you could sit things like this. Make it look all nice and pretty versus, you know, you just got a bunch of cigarettes sitting there. So I'm not surprised. I do think that's kind of neat. And I'm glad I've looked it up and decided to see if I could find out what it could possibly be for. And then this one is, um, I went looking again and it's, they got listed under Fenton Wrestling. I'm sorry, my phone was trying to get, I guess, the picture better on it. Um, Wrestling, like the Fenton Wrestling um, perfume bottle. Because people said it was like a swirl, a white cloud thing, you know, different versions of names for it. And when it popped up saying the, the um, Wrestling Fenton, Fenton Wrestling. I'm guessing that's what it is because that's what I got. It's got listed online, so it's either from the 1930s or the 1940s, according to everybody online, who's once again selling one of these. Who said it's a Fenton, Fenton, Wrestling, some kind of swirl perfume bottle? I told Carol I said I just thought it was pretty, and I kind of like it with a little ribbon on it, like I said in the video. So this would be neat if that is actually what it is, a 1930s or 1940s bottle, since there's no tag on it. So I just thought I'd do a quick update on what I found out since then. That would be neat if that's 1930s and 1940s. That's neat that that's a cigarette holder. I thought that was pretty cool. So I just thought that I would do an update. Thank you for watching. Bye.